In 2006, the Vintage Aviator Limited built their first full-sized reproduction World War I aircraft, the venerable Royal Aircraft Factory SE-5A. That initial aircraft was a static-only example which was built for a museum display, but using authentic construction materials and methods allowed the TVAL craftsmen to hone their skills before they began work on three airworthy examples of the SE-5A. Back in 1917, the SE-5 was designed around the newly developed 150 horsepower Hispano Suiza V8 engine. The first two aircraft were lost in crashes due to a weak wing, but the third prototype underwent a significant modification and the aircraft type ultimately became known as a very strong machine that could be dived at high speed. The first examples of these types were delivered to the Royal Flying Corps before the Sopwith Camel, but ongoing problems with the engine meant that there were relatively few EC5s in service until well into 1918. The introduction of the 200 horsepower Hispano Suiza, or the Volsley Viper, which was a version of the Hispano Suiza made under licence, eventually resolved the engine problems and added nearly 45 kilometres an hour to the aircraft's top speed. The original EC5 was first used in action by No. 56 Squadron Royal Flying Corps on the 22nd of April 1917. By the end of 1917, a further seven RFC squadrons had been equipped with the type, which by then had developed into the SE-5A variant, which was the model with the new 200 horsepower engines instead of the earlier 150 horsepower Hispano Suizas. Throughout 1916 and 1917, the number of British aircraft operating in France rose dramatically. In order to be able to identify the units that specific aircraft belonged to, the Royal Flying Corps began issuing orders for individual units to paint various geometrical shapes on the fuselages of their aircraft. In late 1917, a new set of orders was released with details of updated unit markings. The markings for number 60 Squadron was to become a white circle painted on the sides of the fuselage behind the roundel and also on top of the fuselage behind the cockpit, as seen on this machine here. These markings remained in force until the German army launched an offensive on the Western Front in March 1918. The following day, in an attempt to confuse the Germans, all Royal Flying Corps two-seater units were ordered to paint out their unit markings, while all the fighter squadrons, including No. 60 Squadron, swapped their markings around. Subsequently, the markings for No. 60 Squadron aircraft became, and remained for the rest of the war, a pair of white bands around the fuselage just forward of the tail. This particular EC-5A represents that of B-507A, an aircraft of A flight No. 60 Squadron. On the 5th of October 1917, 2nd Lieutenant J.J. Fitzgerald was forced to land behind enemy lines, becoming a POW, due to the engine failure while flying B-507. Captured intact, the aircraft was examined and photographed in great detail by the Germans. This particular reproduction aircraft features an original Hispano Suiza engine, but in this case it's a 180 horsepower version which was built under license in the United States. Another interesting feature of this particular SE-5A is that it's currently for sale. So if you'd like to park a new World War I aircraft in your garage, talk to the Vintage Aviator Limited soon. <laughs>